Taking vacation regularly is important whether you actually feel tired or not. Fatigue and stress directly affect our physical resistance and mental capacities. A few days of not thinking about work can go a long way to recharging our batteries. Consider spending some few days in the Mullin National Park in northern Ghana. See wildlife in their natural habitat. Get close to their savanna elephants, antelopes, primates, reptiles, and bird species freely roaming the park. The Mullin National Park is Ghana's largest wildlife protected area with a total land mass of 4,577 square kilometers. It is largely located in the northern region of Ghana with its headquarters located 24 kilometers from Damongo, the district capital of the West Gonja district. The park spans over five administrative districts, namely the West Gonja, North Gonja, Sola Tunakaba, and West Mamprusi districts in the northern region and Wai East districts in the Upper West region of Ghana. Mullin National Park is undoubtedly the largest tourist destination in northern Ghana and receives over 15,000 national and international tourists annually. Tourists and other visitors to the park are warmly received and professionally conducted around the park by the park star guides who are well trained and professional in their duties. Look at our records now. It shows that we have over 94 species of mammals in the park, 33 species of reptiles, 9 species of amphibians, over 300 species of birds, and 742 species of plants. When you are here, we have two ways of doing our safari, either by foot or by drive. The safari is done twice a day. The morning one starts at 7 and ends around 9 to 10. The afternoon one starts at half past three and end around six. So it's a minimum of two hours, but you can do more than two hours depending on your interest. The park is home to many mammals and other animal species, giving tourists the most prestigious opportunity of coming closely in contact with nature. At the Mullin National Park, Tourists can choose from foot safari, which entails walking through the bushes or by safari vehicles that are readily available. Whether one goes by foot safari or by jungle cars, the assurance of seeing an animal is high. The most common of the large animals to be seen on the park includes the largest land mammal the African elephants. The park has over 400 individual elephants. On a lucky day, tourists will wake up with elephants knocking on their doors right at the motel premises and at the staff residential quarters. In most cases, however, tourists will have to embark on foot or drive safari along game viewing roads or tracks to view the elephants and other equally exciting animals in the park. Mullin National Park and as you can see there's so many elephants behind me. I've been to Mole twice and I've seen about 15 elephants in total. I've seen monkeys, antelope, buffalo and it's just a beautiful place to stay and I love it very much. Other animals commonly sighted in a park include the cub, the bush buck, the roan antelope, hutter beast, the warthogs, buffaloes, crocodiles and different types of monkeys including the baboons and that can sometimes be naughty. The spectacular Bozim and Paria waterfalls which are located 100 kilometers and 120 kilometers into the park can only be assessed in a dry season due to the absence of good road network.
There are other interesting sites to behold close to the Mole National Park, such as the Larabanga Asian Mosque, the Mystery Stone, also located at Larabanga, and Mangnori Eco Village. Accommodation facilities at the Mole National Park are just of high standard and the different types of available rooms makes it affordable for all kinds of tourists. Mole Motel has 33 rooms consisting of chalets, single, double and three-bedded family rooms and dormitory rooms. Interestingly, air-conditioned chalets with queen-size beds overlook a water reservoir where the elephants and other animals take their bath. Located right inside the park is a Mole Motel, a one-star hotel facility. We cater for tourists and visitors who come to the park. The categories are air-conditioned chalets with queen-size beds. That is our executive rooms. We have air-conditioned standard twin bedrooms that can be used for single occupancy or double occupancy. We have air-conditioned family rooms with three separate beds that can cater for a family of two or three. We have family rooms with fan only. Those rooms don't have air conditioning. Then we have two dormitory style rooms for female and for male and female. They are supposed to cater for the budget tourists and pack packets. Those are the five categories of whom we, we operate. And uh, with the five, we believe we should be able to cater for the wealthy tourists, the economic, the budget and backpackers. For the past six, seven years now, visitation has been increasing. We are currently receiving annual visitation of about 15 to 16,000. And uh, it contributes about uh, uh, 50 50% 50 of local visitors and then 50% of foreign visitors. At the Mole National Park, tourists are always home away from home. Mole accommodation facilities are very good. They have a hotel that three people can sleep in. It's very good and the reception they serve is very well. And I think it's also great to stay up there in the hotel where you can just sit and look down and see the animals and enjoy it. It's a beautiful place and I would love to spend more time here. The Mole restaurants offers tourists the choice of good food made by well-trained cooks. There are local dishes as well as continental dishes. We have uh, boneless curry, we have beef curry, we have uh, green boneless chicken, spaghetti with vegetable sauce, spaghetti in tomato sauce, we have the cheeseburger, we have uh, the hamburger, and uh, with the local we have the teaser, the banku, Ubuntu and then ball yam with vegetables. The food is hygienically made and the mole special is one of the favorites tourists always ask for. Other places to chill out your stay at the Mole National Park at a swimming pool. We have a bar that is stocked with assorted drinks, both alcoholic and non-alcoholic wines and all that. Tourists can visit the Mole Museum where exhibits of most of the animals are kept. Most tourists who come here do not have access to all animals because some of them are nocturnals, others very live um, in the thick forest so they can't have access to them. But we have their features here that you can feel and touch. The Mole convenience shop has souvenirs tourists can purchase home. The Mole National Park has seen some improvements since 2011. This includes the significant change of the only access route to the park. In 2011, the Fofoso Damango Sola Road was in bad state, making it difficult for vehicles to ply. Now in 2014, the road is almost asphalted, creating a quick access to the park.
Right from Narabanga to the Mbole Park, is a six, six kilometer stretch. It's also about uh, 85 percent complete. Gone are the days when uh, one needed to have a four-wheel drive to be able to come to Mole National Park. I think um, with the construction of, of this road, which is almost complete, it offers every Ghanaian the opportunity to be able to also have a feel of Mole. Because now it's possible, even with your own Tico <laughs> car, to be able to drive to Mole. And even if you don't have a car, I think uh, public transport from all parts of uh, the northern region to Mole is now available. Not only that, we've made the conscious effort to train all taxi drivers and car rental companies that plied that road in customer care. Security in a park are always guaranteed as tall guards are always ready to protect life and properties. Tourists are well secured in the park. We want to give this assurance to all tourists who or all protect, prospective tourists who will be coming into Modi National Park that their security is our priority. For your vacation, relaxation and honeymoons, visit the Mullin National Park and be in contact with nature.